to still use you in different ways. Uh, Brother Adele mentioned that uh, I've been with the uh, MFPC for some time since the uh, conception of the church. Uh, my wife is me, her name is Marilu. I got two kids. Uh, my son is now uh, 26 years old. He graduated last year from chiropractic in Atlanta. So he's uh, practicing now as a chiropractor in Knoxville, Tennessee. My daughter is a uh, four-year college now. Uh, she's finishing, uh, she's studying uh, speech pathologies in uh, St. Catherine's Brock University. So uh, hopefully uh, uh, she'll be done soon so that I can save a little bit for myself. You know, parents, <laughs> you send kids to school, uh, they bring you so much uh, in terms of financially. So this morning, uh, month of February is usually month of love. So the theme that we have, I'll try to share with you, is love in community. And every time I come here, sometimes I still have cold hands. And uh, I trust uh, the promise of the Lord that he was given to the apostle uh, when he commissioned them. In Matthew 10, Matthew 10, verse 19, it said, do not worry about what to say and how to say it. That's his, uh, uh, he sent his total apostle. It's not easy, that's what he said. But when you are taken to court, so don't worry about what to say and how to say it. Because at that time, it's not you that will be speaking. It's the spirit of the Lord that's speaking to you. And today, I'm just an avenue of the word of God. So may the Spirit of the Lord, the Word of the Word that He wants to impart to us, have just an avenue of that. But before we start and we go to our text this morning, please join me in prayer. Dear God, Heavenly Father, we humbly come to you this morning and ask your forgiveness of our sins. Cleanse us from all our righteousness. So that we're worthy to receive your message. Guide your humble servant. Fill us, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Wipe off away the fears, the doubts, and our struggles so that we can be instrument and a bless and blessing to those around us. May you be in our means, may your holy presence be felt. This we hum humbly pray. In Jesus' name, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Thank you for praying with me for the prayer. Give me a lot of confidence. You know, when we talk about love, the subject of love, sometimes it's a very confusing subject. You know, when I'm preparing this message, I said, and hey, what's the, uh, uh, just this midweek, a blockbuster trade by the Raptors to the other team, the Grizzlies. I don't know who was rock stars here with the race of hands. <laughs> Many, there you go. And they traded three players to the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, and I've seen some fans being interviewed. They said, I love Jamie Balisonas. Others said, I love the trade. Love is being used in many forms and ways. Sometimes I don't know what they're trying to say and what they're trying to do, if they really mean it. And sometimes I heard people say, I love my breakfast, bacon and egg. I love the weather. And you hear the love, the word love, multiple times. So this afternoon, it's a tremendous value for us to study the definition of love, and most importantly, the source of love. And what it means to love, and how to de demonstrate that love. So our text this morning, come from the oldest living apostle in the New Testament, Apostle John. He speak passionately about Jesus and love. Let's see if this works. There you go. It's found, if you have your Bible with you, you can uh, follow along. If you don't, uh, we have up here in, uh, in the front. This is the Word of God. First John, chapter 4, verse 7 to 4. 14. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. 
Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God. For God is love. By this, the love of God was manifested in us that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through Him. And this is love. Not that we love God, but He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God, God abides in us, and His love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him, and He is in us. Because He has given us of His Spirit, we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of this world. That's the Word of God. If you look at these eight verses that we have read, if my count is correct, love was mentioned multiple times, 30 times in total. So there's value about studying the Word of God about love. If you, if you look around us and on TV, news on TV, read the newspaper, and hear news on the radio, there's not a lot of love up there. Sometimes there's no more good news. A lot of times bad news. So what John also just saying here that we need to have a deeper love in this world. We need a deeper love within, within our family. We need a deeper love with its, in, in its other. Apostle John did not say in these eight verses that we are read, read that, that God is loving, but He is. Did not say it here that God is merciful, but He is. Because those things are the attributes of God. All the all his attributes flows from the flows from the truth that he is love. God is merciful. God is gracious. God is powerful. All his attributes flows from the truth that God is love. Oftentimes, you see a, uh, a chapter in the Bible that we use multiple times, read during weddings and special occasions about love. This is called the chapter of love. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 13. Multiple times being read during weddings. In here, you see the attributes of love. But try to read these verses. Because God is love. Try to change that word love to Jesus. And that's what it means. Let's try the first verses here. I if I speak in tongues of men, of angels, but do not have Jesus, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have Jesus, I am nothing. If I give all my pos I possess to the poor and give over my body to the hardship that I may boast, but do not have Jesus, I did nothing. The source of love is God. You can finish that, the entire chapter by putting Jesus in replacement of love. Because God is love. Everything God does, everything that He is, and all the attributes flow from the truth that God is love. 